Hello and welcome to my series uh, walkthrough of the Factorio tutorial uh, campaign levels. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. And uh, this is something that has actually been fairly highly requested uh, on my channel, particularly uh, as comments on my uh, 1.0 tutorial series. Uh, I've had multiple people request that I go through this because uh, they're going through it and they've gotten stuck or just interested in... Uh, you know how how I go through it. So here we are. Uh, we're going to start here. Uh, I can't select any of the uh, next levels. I have to start with the first one, obviously. And uh, we're going to go through this together, and hopefully this will help you out if uh, you're stuck, uh, new to the game, and, and trying this out, and maybe run into some problems. Hopefully I can help you out there. Uh, now, a disclaimer. I actually have not played uh, any of the tutorial levels. Like, even even in in the years past when I play I played the game for probably five and a half years now uh, I've never played the tutorials uh, especially these new ones some of these are very new uh, I, I believe even just like the last two or maybe just entered into 1.0 uh, update so I've not played these I'll be experiencing them basically as you as you would experience them uh, you know with, with no previous knowledge going into them I of course have a lot of previous knowledge in the game itself. Uh, which will hopefully help me through it, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we have to work with. I'm not sure. Uh, see here, nah. Any cutscenes? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you know how how this may be split up um, in terms of episodes. If it's going to be like an episode per level or five episodes per level, it'll be whatever it will be probably, I'd say 25 to 35 minute episodes. So here we go. Uh, engineer, the escape pod saved my life. I'm afraid the others were not so lucky. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it sounds like he was accompanied, uh, by other people on the ship he crashed from. Uh, the window will occasionally pause the game and give you some hints. You can continue, uh, the game by pressing tab. So I may, uh, depending how long some of these tips are, I may just tab through them and not read them. I would hope I would know most everything it's going to tell me, and I can explain it, uh, I think, to you guys on my own, or, or I have explained it in my tutorial Let's Play. Uh, so, we'll see here. Uh, so, we have an objective here, which can always be found up here. Uh, so, fairly straightforward. Use this to walk around. Here for a bit, we've completed that section. I wonder if I could use something from the escape pod. So check if there's something useful in the escape pod. Move close to it and press left mouse button to open it. So we have a very uh, clear indicator here. We can move these into our inventory here with left click. Close the character screen by pressing E. Uh, pretty straightforward there. That's pretty intuitive throughout most games. There's nothing else here. I'll have to make some simple tools myself. Okay, well, we, we don't actually have any iron ore uh, or yet. Uh, so... Uh, when you hover and over an entity, useful detailed information uh, appears, which you know I've covered in my tutorial. But yeah, any information you're looking for uh, on something can usually be in that right-hand screen there. Uh, or if it's an item you build, you can look at it in your crafting menu, and it will usually give the, the same type of information. Uh, so we'll just mine a bit here. Uh, so we need to smelt the iron. Um, I'm just gonna hit here on the right side. On the right-hand side is your crafting menu left. Clicking on the recipe will craft the depicted item. Uh, when you hover over a recipe, uh, you will be shown which ingredients are needed. So we obviously need some stone for this, uh, which, you know, I I did happen to know. Uh, so we're just going to go through this, get our five stone that we need for our furnace, and craft that. So this is our crafting queue down there that we just made. Uh, select the stone furnace and build it on the ground near you by pressing left mouse button, so we already know that. Uh, let's go ahead and place this here. Uh, now I'm doing this here in preparation for having a miner here that can mine directly into this. Uh, so we can open this up, put the iron ore in here, pretty straightforward. Uh, we will need some coal or wood, let's use coal since it's right here, and uh, a better fuel source, uh, something I actually didn't cover super extensively yet in my tutorial let's play is fuel values. I think I touched on it, but didn't go into exact numbers. Uh, if we chop some wood here, you mouse over it, it will tell you the fuel value uh, being two megajoules in this case, uh, whereas coal is double that at four megajoules. So uh, 
uh, coal is obviously twice as good as wood here for a fuel source. Uh, so it's now smelting iron. Uh, you know, this first level or two is going to be very, very uh, simple, very uh, just su super, you know, <laughs> straightforward and, in, 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 uh, you know, just pretty obvious in, in a lot of cases. But uh, so uh, basically we're going to smelt here probably at some point it's going to give us some other sort of prompt uh, i am hitting i am holding control and left clicking the furnace to take all these uh finished plates out uh it is how i'm doing that um, so we can now craft a furnace uh, if we mine a little bit more stone here sorry a miner uh, and i had placed that furnace in preparation for uh, having a miner go there because i i do know that i'm going to need to automate some mining into that furnace uh, add the burner mining drill to the quick bar at the bottom of the screen using the left mouse button. So uh, we can take an item in our hand and left mouse button click to get it here. Um, and then our number keys 1 through 0. So 1 through 9 and 0 correspond here. Uh, put some fuel on this. We'll go here again. If I hold control and this time right click, it's going to put a uh, half or the best uh, clo close to it as it can half from my hand. It's working. It's working. So wait until at least two smelted items are in the stone furnace. Okay, well, we've done that. Take all the items, which we've just done. And I should spend some some time exploring the strange planet. And there we go. So first level complete. Three minutes and 47 seconds. I did not expect it to be that short. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, so we're here now here on what looks like a new area. So looks like an abandoned mining site. I wonder what the robotic arm is for. This machine has run out of fuel. Aha, so we have a burner inserter. Uh, so again, a lot of this I've covered in my tutorial Let's Play. I definitely recommend you check that out. Uh, people seem to be enjoying it if you, if you haven't seen that yet and are stumbling upon this series first, but I will try to cover some of the basics in this as well as we go. Uh, so we have inserters, uh, which basically uh, will automatically move items from uh, something, whether it be a belt or a machine or a chest, into something else. Uh, in most inserters, in fact, all inserters except for this particular one, uh, this particular class of inserter, uh, will work on electricity. This one is unique in the fact that it actually works on fuel, much like a furnace or a bird or miner, uh, and does not use electricity. So. I've put the materials in there, hover over and insert to see which direction it will move items. Uh, so they can insert items into or unload items from structures, belts, and containers. I basically just went over this, uh, but we have a nice little diagram here. This is fairly nicely demonstrated. Uh, and as you can see, uh, where, uh, where this line is is where it picks up from, and where the arrow is is where it drops into. And you can easily rotate these uh, things by well, anything in the game by just pressing R. You can also do this before you place things. Uh, so we're going to take items here. Again, control left click to just take everything out. Take all the items from the iron chest, which I've done. Uh, I'm not sure what else <laughs> it wants from me here. Maybe I'm going a little too fast from it. Oh, okay, so oh, this iron chest. I see. should have paid attention. Uh, so we're going to come in here, and if I can, again, control left click in, in inventory, just an empty spot, it will do the same thing. Uh, so... Uh, we can go here. We've equipped our pistol, automatically equipped it into a slot. Uh, so close the character screen. Uh, sounds like footsteps. When enemies are close, you can fire at them by holding space bar. When enemy, when the enemy closest to the cursor will be shot. So the yeah. So we're about to enter into some combat. Let's see. Kill the approaching creatures before they get to you. Fire by holding space bar. And there we go. Phew, they're dead, but there might be more coming. I better get the production here working and prepare myself. Oh dear. The second burner inserter is reversed. Rotate the inserter by pressing R. So we already went over this. Uh, you can rotate things by pressing R. Uh, when building a structure, press R to rotate before building, which we also covered. You can do this before you even place it while it's in your hand. Uh, okay, so it looks like what it wants us to do here is uh, create some more burner miners, some more stone furnaces, uh, and potentially get to electricity there. So uh, we're going to just kind of go our own way here. Uh, now that we have a general objective without our, our hand being held quite as much, 
Uh, obviously, as a tutorial, as a brand new player, this this would be quite helpful. Uh, and I, I'm trying to balance, uh, you know, in, in this first episode, I would really appreciate feedback if this is like the style you're looking for, if you want me to do something different. Uh, I'm trying to balance giving tips on my own as well as, you know, reading and following the tips it's giving uh, in playing at a pace I find comfortable, but also hopefully understandable and easy to follow for uh, newer players, particularly the people who requested this. Uh, so uh, we need to build some some more stuff here. So we need some stone, uh, which is up here. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I, I don't, I don't actually really need this in here. Um, we're gonna change a few things around. Hopefully, it doesn't break the tutorial by me moving this. Uh, so I'm going to incorporate a little bit of a trick that I know, uh, and we're going to instead of having these go onto a belt and an inserter pick them up into a box going to just face them towards each other. I'm going to reuse this belt somewhere else. Uh, and what they're going to do is they're actually going to mine the coal uh, into its partner, essentially, into, into the other one. Uh, and then I can come by just by holding control and left click dragging over them and pick up the coal. Uh, rather than having all those, you know, resources for, uh, you know, belt and inserter and the chest, uh, those are basically acting as all of those at once. So let's go ahead and just mine. We need five stone here uh, to make a burner mining drill. I spent a lot of time mining this stone. I should use my first burner miner. Uh, I think I did. I accidentally place another one down. I don't know. Probably don't need two on here right now. So let's do that. Uh, I'm picking a, a a copy of something by hitting Q. There is what I did. You can do that on anything. So you hit Q, and it basically just takes a copy of that. Uh, if you have it in your inventory, it'll put it in your hand. If you don't. Uh, it creates this little ghost icon and this ghost image here, basically, uh, where if you click it, it's a ghost and it's not actually built, but it's showing where it would be built. Uh, so that's how that works. Uh, but let's go ahead and place this here. And I'm going to put a box here for the stone and then throw in some coal. Pick up some more coal here. These are going through coal quite quickly. Uh, so we need a bunch of mining drills, again, which we'll get from the stone. I'm gonna actually just mine more stone since there's not much more to do at this point. Looks like we have some uh, some damaged rail here, which is interesting. Uh, I'm sure that will be incorporated uh, later on, either in this uh, section or the next one. Uh, so now uh, we can just make some more of these, some more stone furnaces. Uh, I yeah, build structures. Okay, so it does want these actually built. So let's go ahead and we, we can add another one of these, another one of those guys, build some more of these. And I'm using Q here a lot uh, to get these going. Now, it looks like we may actually have a shortage of coal coming up. So I'm going to I'm gonna just expand this little setup I have here. Uh, hit R over that to rotate. And I'm going to uh, basically just create a circular uh, feeding thing here into each other. So we now have seven of the 10 burner mining drills we need. Uh, I'm gonna make the stone furnaces first because these actually require stone furnaces. Uh, I don't really know where it wants us to place all these. We do have some copper, so perhaps we should place some copper here. Looks like, we, looks like we've run out of uh, fuel mid, uh, mid, mid thing there. Uh, in fact, th this thing is becoming a bit troublesome. We might uh, change that up here a little bit. Um, but let's get some stuff on copper. Place these down and uh, just do that. So he should get going there. And let's build some more of those. Uh, we need two more of these. And then just a little bit more stone. Three more stone for us here. And I think it did mention power. So I'm guessing power is going to be coming up uh, here after this step. Uh, but we are actually going to rearrange this. It's going to kind of uh, bring our objective <laughs> the wrong direction here, kind of undo some of what we've done. Uh, but in preparation for needing to do further things, uh, I'm going to set this up in a much more efficient way, which does not require the belt and the inserters. Uh, now, as a new player, you may not realize this, and that's fine to leave it as is. There was nothing wrong with that. Uh, if I connect it all correctly, I should be able to get the resources needed for electric power soon. Okay, so we just completed that objective uh, just by doing this. I 
forgot about that. Um, but this will be better. Again, it eliminates the inserters. We don't need to fuel those. It eliminates the belt. We need to make 150 iron plate, 100 or 50 copper plate, or, or rather have them in our inventory and some coal. The coal should be very simple, very straightforward. Uh, the coal, I'm, I'm just actually just going to use some more coal in, in these. Uh, the copper will get there eventually. Uh, we we spo I suppose we could add some more. We are, of course, using the resources uh, here from our goal, but it's, it's all about, at this point, just building up so that we have a little bit of a better infrastructure set up for ourselves. Because, uh, and this is a practice, you know, that, that I think will help us later in the tutorial and uh, probably, you know, hopefully will help in an actual game as well for you guys, uh, is building it, maybe sacrificing some materials in the current moment to, uh, you know, better secure a, a later goal or, or to, you know, better, better increase your infrastructure for uh, later things you may need to do, I think is a very good uh, thing to keep in mind and, and to take advantage of. So... Uh, you know, in this case, uh, it, it said something about power. Uh, so I'm knowing that this is, you know, there may be something, well, this is actually the goal to get us to power. But, um, you know, for all I know, there's something after that. So having a stronger infrastructure set up rather than just having, say, like one drill on coal and iron and, and uh, copper, well, uh, you know, and just waiting around, I think having this extra infrastructure will help us a lot actually later down the road. So let's just get the remaining coal here. We're 10 away from that. We're very close to our iron. Uh, we do see some enemies up here. It looks like there's actually no spawner from them or uh, for them. Uh, the enemies themselves are just there. They'll probably, uh, they, the game will probably have them trigger an attack here soon. And there we go. That was some hard work. I have everything I need now. So uh, this is what it wanted us to collect for power, I would imagine. It's time to move on. And there we go. So we've killed two small biters, uh, 9 minutes and 49 seconds for this one. Um, could probably get started in the next one. I'd imagine we're probably about 18 minutes or so into the video with the intro. Uh, so let's continue on here. Uh, it looks like uh, this is a whole new area. I could use some equipment from our crash ship, but first I need to locate it. If I had enough electricity, I could build a radar to locate the crash site. I have the electricity test set up almost ready. I just need some water from the lake. Build an offshore pump at the edge of the water. Okay, so we're given some initial materials here. Our crafting menu has expanded and we have multiple different things we can do, uh, but what it wants us to do is build this offshore pump. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and craft that up and uh, place it here. The, this will show you everywhere you can place it. Uh, so we're gonna do that. So now we need to build some pipes. Go right here. So pipe down, put some fuel into the boiler to produce steam. Yes, well, the thing is, okay, I'll follow it, I'll follow it. This is, this is gonna waste some fuel because the, the steam engine is not actually connected and stuff, but we'll follow along. Uh, now, if, if I were, say, doing this myself, I would pick up the steam engine and just stick it directly in here, like, just connect it directly to this. That will work actually perfectly fine. Uh, you may notice a theme uh, I'm going for here is trying to eliminate steps and trying to eliminate uh, extra parts needed for things. Uh, so, so with you know, with the miners uh, mining directly into the furnaces instead of onto a belt and then inserter inserting into the furnaces, uh, the the same thing applies here. Uh, instead of running a pipe through here, uh, I actually would like to just take the steam engine and connect it right here because uh, then that eliminates the pipe it saves some room uh, but for the sake of following the tutorial in this particular case uh we, we may move this later just go ahead and that's not steam that's water uh, there we go uh, so it's run out of fuel now uh, i assume it wants us okay good the steam engine is now producing electricity connect the electric mining drill to the steam engine using small electric poles Okay, well, we don't have any wood, so grab some here. Craft these, and you'll notice uh, it's crafting all the materials needed to make something like itself. So one really nice thing about Factorio is you don't have to craft all the intermediate parts like first manually and then craft the final thing you want. 
Uh, I mean, obviously, if you're automating, you kind of have to. But uh, when you handcraft, you just select the thing you want to craft, the final product. And if you have the materials in your inventory to make the sub products the, or the intermediates, uh, it will just do that for you as, you, as, you, as you've been seeing here, which is quite nice. So uh, now you'll notice this was not actually producing steam. It ran out of fuel, but there was steam built up in here, which was there enough for this to uh, have this work for a bit, which is great. Uh, I should keep a steady flow of coal going into my boilers. Otherwise, I'll run out of electricity. Let's get to work. Okay, well, yet again, we're inserting into a box. Um, so I'm going to rearrange this slightly and get... Uh, I will use a burner inserter. I actually do like using burner inserters for power. It helps stop some thing, bad things from happening. Looks like we're having a little bit of attack here. No problem. That actually caught me a little bit by surprise there. Uh, so we need to collect materials for radars. Uh, we currently have none. Uh, we have some mining drills, though. And we have some furnaces. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just... How much do we need? 25. Mm, okay, well... Yeah, let's just do this. Now, you did hear me just talking about uh, belt, like trying to eliminate belts and inserters. Uh, a lot of that was to do because in the previous uh, level, it was having us use burner inserters, uh, which need fuel. These obviously just run on electricity, which makes this process a lot easier. Uh, and then in addition to that, this drill is actually, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this drill is actually twice as fast as a burner mining drill. So if we just try to stick a furnace right in front of it here, um, it's actually going to kind of overload the furnace in an aspect, meaning that it's actually going to mine faster than the furnace can smelt. And eventually it will build up a full stockpile here and then it will just stop working. Uh, and I guess this applies even here because it's the same amount as if we did it directly in. Uh, but we can just expand this easily if we want to. Uh, in addition to that, we need some copper. So I'm going to, I'm going to take this and I'm going to find some stone first off. And actually mine these rocks here for some stone as well as uh, coal on these huge rocks which is quite nice they take a little bit but uh, this is obviously a lot faster than mining uh, the like 37 stone just by itself uh, and we're gonna take some of these we had some but we'll take some more and I'm going to put some on copper or one probably I could use electric mining drills they are much faster uh, indeed I, I am using those already over here because uh, we need more iron of course than we do uh, copper so I think it's better to use the mining drills the electric mining drills over here so power poles um, so we can make a radar I'd kind of like to make these all in one go I have a sneaking suspicion uh, we may get attacked when we do this I could be completely wrong like I said I've never played these levels before uh, I just have a feeling so I feel like maybe play it, play it safe here and <laughs> yes, yeah, so we can make two now. Uh, I think all, we're, we're actually short. Oh yeah, hmm. there we go. <laughs> it's as if I predicted this. Uh, so it wants us to make a some machine gun and there we go. So I, I could just re-equip my pistol, but I'll just wait for this, it's fine or not. If I die, this is actually going to be really funny, but... You can equip several weapons. Thanks for that. Whew! I could have easily <laughs> just re-equipped, so... There we go. I'm going to actually use a little bit of our iron to make some ammunition. That was uh, a bit dangerous. Uh, also, we can make armor that takes 40 iron. I'm going to play it a little risky and see what happens with not having armor. Could be fun, maybe. And there we go. Okay, so, I mean, we have actual spawners in these three locations. Uh, so I, I'm not at all surprised we're being attacked. Uh, gather resources and build radar. So we are doing that. Uh, we built a radar. Well, we've built it. We've not placed it. I suppose that's what it means by building them. And I'm going to pick up more iron. I think maybe we should use more some iron here just to, uh, just to get us some armor. Uh, so we'll just place these three down. The radars can 
Scan the surroundings. The more of them you have, the faster you will be able to locate the shipwreck. Uh, radars consume a lot of electricity. Make sure your energy production is sufficient. Uh, okay, so we need some gun turrets. Power is not looking great. Um, okay, so we need some gun turrets here. Just going to, of course, require some iron. Primarily copper is what we're out of at the moment. And there we go. We actually don't have very much ammo, though. Uh, so this wants us to scan 50 sectors. This is actually going to take quite a long time. Uh, you can see up there in the top right that green bar. Uh, the one below is our electricity, which is not doing well. But the green bar uh, is scanning. Each time it fulfills that bar, it scans a sector. Um, so it's a little bit slow. Uh, it's basically three every however many seconds this takes. Um, I've, and these would actually work even faster with power. Uh, so what we're going to, I think, work on at the moment now is some some more power. Uh, so I don't think we're going to finish this level this video because this is going to take a while. Um, but at this point, I am actually going to rearrange my power setup here uh, the way I wanted to in the first place. Uh, also because uh, each one of these boilers can actually uh, create enough steam to support to run two steam engines. Uh, and we can figure that out with some pretty simple math by looking here at the bottom right. Uh, generates steam, it generates 60 a second maximum. Uh, and these guys here in the kind of metal section there, you can see it consumes 30 steam a second. Uh, so 30 goes into 60 twice. And uh, that's the kind of how we get that ratio. Uh, now when you place turret, it does have a nice range indicator here. Uh, the power in the radars are going to be our main thing. Way I took care of them just on my own. Stick that in there. Grab some more iron. And I'm going to make a few more bullets for myself, you know, just in case. Uh, so at this point, it's kind of just a waiting game. We, of course, could just build uh, very easily, just build more radars, which I think I'm going to do. You know, kind of just sitting here waiting at, at this stage. Uh, I can make some more mining drills to maybe manually or to automatically fuel these, which is actually fairly. Tempting. <laughs> I think I think maybe we will do that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is going to be the end of this level. I don't know if it's going to have us do more. Uh, so much like the last level, um, I would like to have the infrastructure set up to support ourselves a little better here. Uh, now, we could have the coal side load onto this belt. Um, in fact, I'm going to do just that now that I'm looking at things slightly closer. Uh, so we're going to take this and we're going to point him this direction. Make a power pole here. Take some belt. And uh, we're going to take advantage of a mechanic called side loading. Uh, where you can, well, just kind of side load, side dump materials from one belt onto another like this. And what this is going to do is just dump the materials onto the closest side where the belt uh, hits or dumps onto here. Uh, so this, this is a way to ensure that you have... Uh, the resource on each side and it stays on its own respective side because uh, the coal side loading here is never going to end up on the side the iron's on uh, it just doesn't work that way it just will not ever end up there uh, and then you know because it's just dumping on that close side it just kind of just falls off the end there onto there and then the iron the miners will always spit it out on the close side next to them uh, so you know we're never going to end up with the iron in in the coal side I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna build more radars, I guess. <laughs> I'm just gonna build even more radars. What do we have to lose, right? Uh, power. We definitely, we could lose some power. We're, we're maxing out our power here, so it's maybe something to keep in mind. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I can just keep expanding. I'm gonna build another boiler, okay, because we've reached the maximum of one boiler for two steam engines. Uh, this pump will have no problem. This pump can actually supply up to 20 of these boilers here, so. I'm going to take that, I'm going to take another one of these, uh, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to change things up a bit here. I'm going to take this, I'm going to run it this way here for ourselves. Uh, stick that in there. I'm not sure if one drill will be enough. I guess we'll, we'll watch here for a minute and find out. Uh, I'm just going to add even more radars. This may be a disaster waiting to happen. 
in terms of biters attacking us. I'm not sure if, if more radar is, is going to trigger bigger attacks. Uh, we could automate firearms. I'm pretty... I'm pretty happy with just spinning all of our iron on radars, but uh, for the tutorial aspect of this, I think that, uh, you know, maybe the game has a point, as especially as a new player. Um, now, now, this is me playing. I suppose maybe I'm not doing the best job. Uh, as a new player, I would not suggest doing something like this if you're not very, you know, pretty experienced and, and know what to expect What to expect just generally in, in the game. Uh, again, I've not played these levels before. I don't know what's going to happen exactly. Uh, but uh, I, I would say stick with three. You can maybe go to four. Uh, or if, if you do feel really confident, you can build more. Uh, but definitely you would want to get a turret set up as it suggests here. Uh, and some ammunition would be good uh, for sure. So I'm just going to not do that. That's the wrong direction. Uh, I'm going to just take the iron out of here. Uh, I am seeing a flashing uh, no fuel signal here on this boiler. So it looks like... That miner is actually not enough to supply both of those. Uh, so we're going to go in here, click here, and hit uh, the firearm magazine to start that uh, recipe there selection. And this will now dump the iron onto this belt, uh, which will then uh, feed into here and give us some ammunition. I would like to put this in a box, though, so we need another output here. And I suppose while we're at it, let's make another drill. So uh, this... You could just sit here and wait with the three radars, and that's perfectly fine. It's actually going, well, obviously I've built a lot more, but even with three, it's going faster than I thought it might, um, even if we stayed at three. Uh, so uh, you could just sit there and wait. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I, again, I would definitely suggest a turret. I'm doing this just because I, I, I know that we can handle this. Um, it looks like it's just sending periodic attacks here is maybe what what is wanting to happen uh but definitely while you wait you could definitely have it continue set it you, you could continue setting up infrastructure kind of as i have just prepare yourself um for you know whatever it may want you to do in the future so down in the southeast um all right so there we go 14 minutes for this one we were probably at about 18 minutes, which I would say puts this just around 30 minutes, give or take a little bit. And I think this is a fantastic place to end the first episode. So we've gone through three levels. Um, I assume each one of these is a level. I, I don't know. Maybe this is all just the first level. <laughs> I think it's been three. Um, so there we go. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you. Uh, I do, I do want to apologize really quick. I know on this last one, I, I went a little bit off the rails uh, away from the direction. Uh, I mostly did that because I, I wanted to have a little fun and I wanted to demonstrate that, uh, you know, you, you you should probably follow what it says in general, but uh, I, at the same time, I would not be afraid to, you know, maybe progress a little farther on your own just in the aspect of uh, beefing up your production a little bit and your infrastructure and uh, maybe throwing down another radar or two in this particular case, but I definitely would highly recommend getting that turret made and putting some ammunition in it. Uh, if you're feeling a little nervous, you could take that 40 iron to make an armor as well. Uh, I didn't do it because I was quite, I was pretty confident the turret would protect us. Uh, but, you know, if, if you aren't confident in that or maybe you didn't get the turret down as quickly as I did, I, I would say the 40 iron uh, is definitely worth that armor. That will help your survivability immensely, uh, even if you have to wait an extra minute or two to make another radar, uh, even one of the three initial ones. I think that's worth it. Uh, so this is where we are. It looks like maybe that little blue dot down there is a shipwreck. Uh, so I'm going to proceed and then just do a quick save here once it takes us away from this cut scene. So we now have a more established factory. Sector scan complete. The radar is detected. It's just beacon, but the signal is uh, extremely weak. So we now have a much more put together factory section here. Uh, basically in the same spot we were, but not what I had built. Based on the Attenuation of signal, the source must be over 200 kilometers away. It looks like the signal strength is dropping. Going on foot would take far too long. Oh no. Uh, so I, if I want to track the source, I will need faster method of transportation. Likely it's going to want us to build a car. Uh, I would, maybe a train. I don't see any existing track or anything. Uh, research something to help protect myself from the enemies. Uh, we are going to end here. I just want to kind of get to a... So Okay, so craft a lap. This is where... We'll stop. We'll just call this 
tutorial walkthrough. Hopefully it saves my progress here on this particular level in this place. And uh, there we go, guys. So that was, I think, the first three levels. Uh, I will double. I will check after this to see if it actually was three levels or kind of just all the first one. I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, I think we made some good progress. I hope you found this helpful. And again, this was the first episode. Even though we made a lot of progress, um, there is more to go. And I would like your feedback. I am I explaining things too much? Not enough? Am I going uh, too much? You know, too far away from the objective? If you're finding that you know unhelpful or something, uh, then then definitely let me know, and I'll, I'll just stick just very closely to the objective in the in the future parts here. Uh, but definitely let me know. So again, I hope you found this helpful, especially if you're new to the game, trying this out, getting stuck. Uh, and, and if you did find it helpful, uh, a like is much appreciated. Uh, so other people can uh, you know find this series, this video, and, and hopefully find it helpful as well. And if you're new to the channel, new to the content, uh, feel free to subscribe as well to stay updated with, with everything new coming out. And there will be a lot of it. So until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.